been months. We still ain't got Crawford from Gracie Spence. Yeah. Everybody's patiently waiting. Yeah. You're hearing one day negotiations going great, fight about to be announced. Next day, oh, it's this guy want more money, that guy want more money. Right. Al Heyman is, you know, low ball. And, right. like, why do you niggas taking so long? I mean, it's, that's exactly what it is. I mean, yeah. Terrence Crawford is one of the best fighters in the world. Earl Spence one of the best fighters in the world. They want to get treated like it. When they hear all the numbers that other guys is getting who aren't the best in the world or not even in the mentions, it makes you wonder sometimes. So... You know what I mean, this, these times are different. It's 2022, like I said. It's, it's not fucking 1942. I mean, guys want to get paid. They want their money. They're more verbal about it because they, they understand what's going on. They understand the money that's being made. They want to end on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they because we don't really know what's going on. They blame it all on Crawford. All right, that's cool, but we don't know what's going on. Pay them guys, man. Pay them good money, too. They deserve it. Is today's boxer now more intelligent business-wise than um, decades previous? They are, but they aren't. They are because we know more. Okay. They're not because of shit you still don't know. You know what I mean? It's shit that still get hidden. It's, it's, it's certain relationships you can't develop as a fighter. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain relationships you can based on the level of fighter that you are. So there are certain, certain guys who you say Lee Espinosa, they're like, oh, I got him in my phone. I got his number in my phone, but then there's some guys like, who the fuck are you talking about? They'll never get to that level. They don't know. So, but then there's some guys who know him and more. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a thing of uh, status. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you reach a certain status, you, you get to know more. So it's just like education. If you educate yourself more, go to college, and whatever you pursue after that, you just got to educate yourself. You got to ask questions. You got to be news. Does this knowledge come from the old generation teaching? the new generation based off of their mistakes like look no nah, don't sign that don't sign with this guy this is where i messed up now nah, you got to do this do that the knowledge comes from guys who kick who was able to kick open the door guys like mayweather mayweather kind of exposed boxing he he at the same time he was being entertaining and making money he was exposing the game and was telling people how this shit go now if you chose to listen you listen if you didn't you didn't the old heads, sometimes they gave you games, sometimes they don't because they didn't know. You know what I mean? It's just the way shit is. It, but information is, in the smaller situations, you can find the best piece of information if you really listen and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So it's not always the big shows and shit like that you learn from. Because I learned the game from the small shows. And then the one, by the time I got to the big shows, I just seen it on a higher scale. You know what I mean? What's a fair deal for Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence? I think uh, from the rip, I think from the rip, between seven to 10 million a piece, and then and then a percentage off pay-per-views. I think this should be, it should be nothing under $7 million for the fight, because this is gonna be a good fight. I don't care what nobody say. There's gonna be a lot of uh, people who don't even pay attention to boxing, because they gonna hear the rave about it, they gonna tune in, they gonna tune in. Trust me. Does it need to be two fights, like a two fight deal? Two fight like deal. with the rematch, both sides? I think it should only because of the caliber of the fighters and the respect level of the fighters, it should be like that. You know what I mean? If it doesn't happen this year, is this an indictment on everybody involved? If it doesn't happen this year, then guess what? We're going we gonna to still watch it next year. <laughs> to be true. You know what I mean? I got you. Do you expect it to happen this year? I think so. I think it will. I think it's really already signed the seal. I think what they're doing is letting all the arguing and shit keep going on and on so that it can still build so then when they throw the number out there the date out there i mean there's gonna be like oh shit that's around the corner i get my money you know what i mean i think i think it's definitely happening you going to that fight I, if i can if i can make it i'm going we out hell yeah vegas whatever okay what all right. Gonna do? all right i know my man lord of the smoke i'm gonna treat him to a, a trip to planet 13 for sure <laughs> all right bro. hello